Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits. It's been a while, but um, we're also in a little bit of a different setting here. We are on the official ACT server, which is at the moment a little bit underground, but um, anyway, we're going to get to this tutorial because we're going to be doing this tutorial in this server because of world edit. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is the basics of ALU um, creating. So the idea is um, an ALU has to be able to perform logical functions like XOR and OR, and a few of them you can just get from the ALU or from the adder itself, just by flicking a few switches. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already built a four-bit adder, so we're gonna get started um, making that into an ALU. So uh, the first line we probably need to add is flood carry, which will basically turn on all the carry lines, and then um, you can do a few logical functions with just that. Uh, so we're just going to make sure we don't go over these torches because then it will cause some problems. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna just go down here. And then that is the end of the flood carry line. And we just place torches like this um, across that. And here we go. So that's our flood carry line. Um, another thing we need, and this is kind of standard in every ALU, is to have invert A and invert B. But for this, um, we're just going to have invert A the moment so I can just show you how this works or um, rather let's just let's just go ahead and build invert A and invert B because we have world edit so it's not really uh, too much of an issue so we're just going to do this um, I'm not going to connect that in just the moment but this is a, um, a one wide XOR that I like to use in here it's uh, relatively fast I would say so we do this and like so, place a redstone there, a um, repeater there, and um, torch there, torch there, and then redstone going down like that. And now we can connect it. So this is um, an XOR now. Uh, you have your top input and you have your bottom input. So top, or um, top, bottom. So we can put in one input. If we put in the other one, then it turns off. If we only have one on, then it is off. So that makes sense. Um, so now we're just going to stack this a few times, and that will get us our invert signal. And I'll explain that once we have it stacked, because it'll probably make a lot more sense once I've done that. So, uh, stack, and this is seven. There we go. Okay. So, uh, now we have... Um, our invert lines and now what we're gonna do um, is because with this XOR you have to um, take the input um, through here in a repeater so it can power this redstone down here and also this so we're gonna get to doing that um, we're just going to stack this a few times probably should have added this whenever I was um, stacking the first time so stack seven there we go. Now, this is where the invert line would come in. So we'd have one like this. And then, um, so to switch between invert A and invert B and just turn them both on if you wanted to, um, the idea is you have two lines. You have one with um, torches on one invert line and one with torches on the other. And I'll just explain right here. So we have this line, this would be invert A, and we don't have to go that far, so we can just go to here, because that's the, in, that's the um, A of that adder right there. Okay, and then um, we have the invert B line, which will just go on the other side, and this one has to stretch out all the way over here. Okay, so we have the torch there, we have the torch there, we have that that and right 
Yeah. Okay, so there's the um, torch there. So that's this is invert A. As you can see, it only goes on the A line, so the right lines. Um, so we're going to just test this out a little bit. Now, also, um, before I forget to mention, you have to invert these lines because um, it is acting like some sort of decoder, uh, if you catch my drift. It's so um, whenever we do that, it turns on the XOR, the first input of the XOR. But whenever you put in a input, like um, for instance here, uh, we're going to just place some repeaters down. It's going to be good. Okay. So uh, whenever you put in a line here, um, it inverts the line. It's, it's, at, it's acting as if um, there, it is going through a torch. So that's the idea behind inverting. We can also do it the same with um, B. So that works just fine. So um, let's uh, just extend these these uh, inputs out a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm ha I'm having trouble with it. Come on. <laughs> okay. Stack seven. Okay. Good. Now we have the invert lines. That's um, an important step. So now we're going to make some uh, logical functions. Why is this? Oh yeah. So these have to be inverted as well. And that's something I forgot to mention because it is uh, basically a decoder. Now is this stretching? Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, cool. So um, that is pretty much it for this um, ALU. Now I'm going to get to making logical functions. So the first one I'm going to make is the um, XOR. So you do this by inverting A and inverting B. So those lines are going to go in there. And also you take this line, you do flood carry. Hmm. Did I make this adder wrong? Uh, and I think you turn on CN, which is right here. Oh, yes. Yes, I did um, mess this up a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to just put these line in here like that. Okay, so um, we have all the inputs on, all right? Um, I think what you can do instead of doing that, you can just turn off the invert, and you can put in. Or no, I'm going to turn on the inverts. Okay, so we have that. So this would be an XNOR. I think that's what this is. Yes. So um, basically. The input is on by default, but whenever you turn on one, then it turns off. If you turn on the other, then it turns off. Um, that makes sense. Because uh, okay, so that's an XOR. And what I would do personally for the OR is um, I would have a separate OR gate. So one right here. And you'd have to make sure that it only goes one way, so you have to put a repeater there. What you can do for that is that right there. Um, you could do this; that'd probably be better. So you'd have one. Um, you'd have to have an enable B and enable A line, and I'll teach you how to do that because it's kind of important. So to do an enable line, you'd have to have your comparator on. Uh, subtraction mode, right? And then you have a line going and so this would be your main line, right? And then you would have um, this line inverted. So whenever you enable this line, then it can pass through, right? So um, that's how you would do enables. And the idea behind this is you would take a bus I'm just going to do this for one bit because two bits would be a lot. 
So, we're going to do this. Like so. Right? So, what we do is have... Um, Basically, we'd have a line creating a diode. Oh, rip. Okay, uh, so we'd have a line creating this diode here. Uh, what am I going to do for this? Like that. And then you'd have your two inputs. So basically, the signal can't flow back through. That's the idea. So basically if any input is on, the input is on, or the output is on. So that's kind of how you would do um, stuff like this, you, how you'd have an OR, like all the uh, logical functions going into the ALU, um, if you wanted to add any. But for the most part you can achieve them from doing this. Uh, I hope that makes sense. This will be the end of this video. It's quite a long video, but um, I hope I taught you something. If I didn't, then leave it in the comments and I will help you out there. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, then go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. Uh, if you like this video, then go ahead and like it. If you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe.